All right, Darren Smith back with you. Let's talk a little San Diego State football coming up this Saturday, San Diego State against Hawaii. This is a game that you can listen to on the Mighty 1090. He is the Mountain West Conference Offensive Player of the Week. He is Donnell Pumphrey, San Diego State running back in his sophomore season. How about this? Just some statistics here before we say hello. 20 carries a week ago, 246 yards. That included a career-high 93-yard touchdown. Had a couple of t- a couple trips into the end zone. I mean, geez, what can you do for an encore? Don L. Pumphrey joins us now on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. Great game. Thank what, you. I appreciate it. What did you feel like after the game? Oh, I felt really good. I just, I'm just glad that we got the win as a team overall. Well, that's a very uh, team-oriented thing to say here. I mean, that's that's a career day for you. I mean, that was that the plan? I mean, did you go into the game? Your head coach, Rocky Long, had said this is not going to be basketball on grass. So everybody <laughs> had the, you know, Rocky can only say it a certain way. So everybody had a sense that this was going to be a game that was won on the ground. But my goodness, uh, how much could you have expected that kind of success for you? Well, honestly, we expected to go into the game running the ball, but I didn't think that this is going to happen in a 20-carry, 246-yard game. And I just want to thank the offensive line and, and all the coaches for this, for the whole situation, and also the running back coach for putting me out there. 20 for 246, uh, 93-yard touchdown. What are you thinking about during a 93-yard touchdown? I mean, can you remember? Now, it wasn't a breakaway play where you're all by yourself. You actually had to evade a couple of defenders there downfield. But what's going through your mind as you're running that length of the football field? Just to get away from the opposing team, really, <laughs> making guys miss and – Hopefully I can just use my speed to get into the end zone. What was that play designed to do? You guys are backed up. You're sitting there. You're at the seven-yard line. I mean, what would have been considered a successful play when that turned out to be 93 yards? Well, a successful play would have just been getting out of from the end zone because we, we, they ended up putting the ball to the one-yard line. So we, we ran a power play, and they, they brought a rifle blitz, which we our quarterback, Quinn, he checked to a different power play, which the, we would have an extra guard pulling around and they were able to pull around and the fullback he he led me through the hole and it was nothing but space and there was only one more guy to beat and that was the corner and I just had to make him miss and after I made him miss it was off to the races and then there was one more guy which was Jamon who who also blocked downfield and I was able to make his guy miss and off to the end zone it was off to the end zone I mean at what stage of that run are you thinking to yourself oh my goodness I got a chance to score on this play Oh, right after I made the first guy miss. Right after the first. I mean, that's that's not too far down the field. You're already thinking about end zone at that spot. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, every every team, they're, they're starting now to pack, like, 10 guys into the box. So it's really, once you make a guy miss, it, it could be off to the race at any point in time. We're talking to Donnell Pumphrey, sophomore running back, San Diego State. San Diego State taking on Hawaii coming up later on this week. You've had uh, an unbelievable stretch here, an unbelievable start to your season. And, again, I don't. I know that that statistics, it's a team game, but 119 rushes, 807 yards, 11 touchdowns, which is third amongst all running backs in the nation, by the way. Um, what stands out to you? I mean, what, what are you happiest, happiest with if I were to ask you to take a peek at your statistics this year? I would just say I'm happy with uh, the, yard, the yards per game, I would say, and the touchdowns. But obviously, like the off, we have a, I think we, our offensive line, have, have, they've improved a lot. Over the year, they they they're way bigger, faster, and stronger, and they're they're just opening up holes. and And no one thought that we'd have a fullback to replace Chad Young last year because mm-hmm. everyone knows that he he was a great fullback on our team. and And Dakota, he he's just he's accepted the challenge and stepped up. You had a four touchdown game earlier. Uh, you've had a two hundred and forty six yard game, and cl- that was last week as well. Which one? Which one did you think was better? What was the better performance for you? Do you have a, a preference? I would say the 246-yard run or the 246-yard right. game. Okay, over the four-touchdown performance. Yeah. And that was, by the way, like mostly in a half. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot more to come. I mean, have you guys kept pushing the ball there in the second half as well? This seems to be – is this what was – you know, this this type of offense here – Donnell, I mean, this, is this what you were thinking when you were recruited by San Diego State? Is this what separated San Diego State from the other schools that were interested in you if you are to take us back to ultimately how you landed here was that you knew you were going to play for a head coach who really kind of likes to, to run the football? Oh, yeah, I knew from the start that I was, I was coming for, to a running program because Coach Horton, he, he coached my, my um, high school head coach, hmm. 
as well. So that that was also a big boost because I love Coach Horton. He's he's a great guy. And he's the one single most responsible for you being at San Diego State. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, did you get recruited by Hawaii? Uh, yeah, I got a, I got recruited by a lot of Mountain West schools as well as Pac-12 schools, but San Diego State they just stood out a lot, especially. Yeah, I'm I'm originally from San Diego, so I just wanted to play for the home team. Now, wait a minute here. All right, I have two follow-ups on that. You mentioned you got recruited a little bit by Hawaii. Did you actually take a recruiting trip there? No, I did not. See, I, I wonder how many people, <laughs> I wonder how many athletes when they're coming out of high school go, well, I'll take the trip, you know, if you want to. <laughs> Does it work that way with Hawaii? Oh, uh, no. I, I just wanted to take the, the trips that <laughs> would be the schools that I was mostly interested in. In, in. Okay, I figured it would be a, a good way to get a free vacation to Hawaii. You know? <laughs> and then you mentioned you're from San Diego, but I was under the impression, and I guess it's the incorrect impression, that you were from Las Vegas. Well, I went to high school in Vegas, and my mom, and as well as my daughter's in Las Vegas now. But my my whole family is out here in San Diego, and I grew up playing Pop Warner and middle school ball out here. Okay, so that means a Charger fan growing up? Oh, yeah. All right, good to Big see you. Big Charger fan. We'll get to that here in a second. You know, it's interesting. You think about you being a Charger fan. Last year, you guys play in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you now you only had a couple carries in that game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, sprained, I ended up spraining my ankle in, like, the first first quarter. Okay, and Muema plays in that game and had a huge game, and I know that that's a topic so that's gone a little sideways here. But Brandon Oliver played in that game as well, and yeah. now he's a feature back with the Chargers. I mean, goodness, that, there's no shortage of running back talent on the field that day. What, what did you think of Brandon Oliver when you saw him last year? Honestly, I didn't even know that he was on the chart. I didn't know that he was the <laughs> Buffalo running back playing for the Chargers, to be honest. But, really? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so, wait a minute. So, you didn't know he was – you didn't know that it was the same guy, or you just weren't aware that he had landed here in San Diego? I just wasn't aware, honestly. Yeah. I mean, he had a good game as well. I mean, and, heck, if you're a Charger fan, you have to love what he's been doing there oh, for the yeah, Bulls, right? He's, he's – He's been running the ball real good. You mentioned you have a daughter. And, again, this is a a little bit of news to me as well. We're talking to Donnell Pumphrey running back with San Diego State, San Diego State, Hawaii this week. How do you juggle that all? I mean, I would think that your class load, you have practice later on today. We know that that is pretty demanding on your time. How do you juggle it all? Well, I have a big support system behind me, and they they help me out as well. And whenever whenever I have free time, I'm able to FaceTime her. And she'll also be at the game this week, so that's that's a blessing. And pretty close, close enough there, I would imagine she gets a chance to come out and see you. Yeah. Okay, and plus it also helps that, you know, at least last year you went out there and played at Vegas. Yep. Yeah. So how old is she? She'll be two coming up on November 2nd. Man, that's yeah. a lot. I mean, that's, uh, again, for a sophomore in college, I know that I wasn't mature enough to handle that. I guess, you you know, it, it does, it, it helps you mature a little bit, I would think. It, yeah, it does, especially with her being born on, on senior night. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. No kidding. Oh, good for you, man. Uh, so you got Hawaii coming up this week, and it's a rather significant game. Will you be watching Boise State, Fresno State tomorrow night? Yes, I will be, actually. Because that matters. You guys could find yourself in sole possession of first place in your division if Fresno State loses and then you guys win on Saturday. Exactly. How big of a college football fan are you? I'm a big college football fan. I prefer college over the NFL, to be honest. <laughs> How come? Because I just feel like they, they play, they're they playing for more of to get to the, mm-hmm. the league, so they're, they're putting more effort mm-hmm. into it. And in the NFL, they're already there, so I feel like they're – and they have 16 games, so they're not playing as – Right. Hard every day, every game. So you'll be watching tonight instead of watching Patriots and Jets, you'll be watching Oregon State and Utah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because you already played Oregon State. Yeah. <laughs> so you know a thing or two about them as well. Um, so you guys, give us a sense here, Donnell, before we let you go. The Aztecs has a program right now. Uh, you, you're through the preseason schedule. You're now into the Mountain West Conference schedule as well. How important is it? How much is it discussed there inside of the locker room that you guys uh, are, you know, you're at least in line potentially for a conference title? Oh, we all know the the ultimate goal, which is the conference championship, and we just know that we have to go into practice every day and work hard, and each each day at each we have to go by each game at a time, and we can't we can't look past any opponent and play at any any opponent's level. We have to play at our own at our own level, and if we play at our own level, we'll win each ball game because we're we're a really good team. Rocky Long in a good mood this week. Oh yeah. You say that like like he's always in a good mood. <laughs> I mean, he's not always in a good mood, but he he's he's a great guy. He and he leads. He's 
He's a great leader. He's a tough guy, man. I mean, you're his kind of player. You know, you're his kind of player. So we'll see you out there this week. Hey, Donnell, good to talk to you. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.